it's pretty clear we can almost eliminate car accidents with automation. With each search, we train it to be better. Sometimes we type in the search and it tells us the answer before you have finished asking the question. You know, who is the president of Kazakhstan? And it'll just tell you. You don't have to go to the Kazakhstan national website to find out. Didn't used to be able to do that. A neural net is something very close to a simulation of how the brain works. It's very probabilistic, but with contextual relevance. The average person, they don't see killer robots going down the streets. They're like, what are you talking about? Man, we want to make sure we don't have killer robots going down the street. Once they're going down the street, it is too late. Google acquired DeepMind several years ago. DeepMind operates as a semi-independent subsidiary of Google. The thing that makes DeepMind unique is that DeepMind is absolutely focused on creating digital superintelligence, an AI that is vastly smarter than any human on Earth and ultimately smarter than all humans on Earth combined. I mean, the DeepMind system can win at any game. It can already beat all the original Atari games. It is superhuman. It plays the games at super speed in less than a minute. DeepMind's AI has administrator level access to Google's servers to optimize energy usage at the data centers. However, this could be an unintentional Trojan horse. DeepMind has to have complete control of the data centers, so with a little software update, that AI could take complete control of the whole Google system, which means they can do anything. They can look at all your data, you can do anything. We're rapidly headed towards digital superintelligence that far exceeds any human. I think it's very obvious. AI doesn't have to be evil to destroy humanity. If AI has a goal and humanity just happens to be in the way, it will destroy humanity as a matter of course, without even thinking about it. No hard feelings. It's just like if we're building a road and an anthill happens to be in the way, we don't hate ants. We're just building a road. And so goodbye anthill. We, we have five years. I think digital superintelligence will happen in my lifetime, 100%. I think it's incredibly important that AI not be other. It must be us. And I could be wrong about what I'm saying. I'm certainly open to ideas if anybody can suggest a path that's better. But I think we're really going to have to either merge with AI or be left behind.